how do we build and how do we educate ourselves in what it means to be a democratic society at the same time that we must come to terms with the inequities that have brought this on? How do you think the events of January 6th, what, what has it brought to light for you? False information and conspiracy theories are lethal, uh, especially to a democracy. And they hold a lot of negative consequences. I think what's needed now is continuing to build relationships across between uh, many different types of people that live in different types of economic contexts. We need this administration to sort of move towards unifying this country. And there is always the time for that. You know, to really fix American democracy, we need substantial change. If the ways we are engaging aren't resulting in the social contract and the vision of the democracy we seek to achieve, it's maybe time to have those harder standards. If you're watching a, a group of far right wing people storming and occupying a parliament, I mean, this has already created a very dangerous paradigm in, for the future and for every society in the world. You know, QAnon theories and all these like very fringe theories, they're not just living in the cloud somewhere, right? Those are literally living on servers somewhere. We are burning energy to allow those messages to be spread elsewhere. Everything that is controversial, uh, provocative, will lead to user reaction. For democracy to work, you need educated citizens who are not just knowledgeable about the institutions and the realities of bureaucracy and organization and voting and tralala, but also um, people have the time to actually get into politics. You know, democracy is hard and it's messy. And I think um, particularly in countries like America and, and the UK and other, other sort of established democracies, we have taken it for granted for so long. We need to question our knowledge systems. We need to question where does knowledge come from and what ideas do we accept ourselves? <laughs>